Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Silent Mike. We're bringing it back. Uh, uh, YouTube Rewind. Five years. 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, voiceovers were cool. Yeah. Why aren't they cool anymore? They weren't cool. We made them cool. Kinda, here's what you need to do. You need to throw up on the screen from the videos we did on my channel when we did the first ever voiceovers that mattered where a Nadim was sleeping while we're you snoring know, in the background. Basically trying to make a YouTube career. And now we have Kai bro over here gaming away instead of a sleeping Nadim. But similar time, yeah. different times, similar situation. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit older, although we look younger and better. But not wiser. Not older, yet. Older, less wise. Omar Esau in the house, he's mm -hmm. been chilling here for a while. Mega bachelor pad, Sacramento, California. Some work, some play. It's a f pad. Bachelor sh streamer recording house pad. We're yeah. lifting some weights. Some. What are the current goals? What are the Omar Isaf goals of lifting weights? To find myself. Oh, I, w I would say uh, actually I recently completed, and I've only mentioned about 20, 30 times on my channel. But it's the first time here. <laughs> but, but I should repeat it again. A successful body transformation okay. where I lost some weight. Um, from there, I want to rebuild my strength, and so that's coming together along nicely. I'm honestly not sure what clips we're going to be shown, but uh, what if you don't look good? <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, <laughs> like ah, best, I, I brought my best package, and you're disgusting. Boot. So I was like, I'm like 180 pounds now. PR, I want to get in a strong man. I actually think I want to do a competition, and then I want to continue to build up that strength base, and then finally really lean down. So I'm, I'm, I'm. Thoroughly enjoying lifting. Right the strongman base or the strongman competition, are you at maintenance then? Or are you going to go on a mini bulk then cut her back down? Uh, I think I'll just be at maintenance because right now being around 180, 182, the weight class I want is 175. So you basically yeah. just don't drink any water for a week and uh, I'll be at it. A couple more orgasms. Right. And lose some liquid <laughs> water cut. That's right. the water cut that they don't want to tell you about yeah. that men have an advantage. Yeah. Uh, a supreme fapping ability. The, <laughs> the refractory actually... period, mine is about 13 seconds. So. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> so, If you guys want to see footage yeah. of that, you'll have to go to his Patreon. Uh, YouTube's really cracking down on this right. type of content, but it is there. It is available. And uh, today we want to talk you through a couple of our sessions, I believe. Yeah. Uh, Omar trains every day like an absolute animal. I am an absolute sissy. He made me train two days in a row, which is against my written rules. I do like you uh, said and called me an absolute animal, and here I am squatting 295 for a 5x5. Five five. Animals don't always come in big weights or big sizes. Right, right. Uh, the point is the work. The mm. point is the work. So what's the current split um, looking like for you? you? I know you're sprinkling in the strong man. Yes. What's the base of the barbell Little movements? dangle dangle on the stangle. Uh, so what we got going on here. I lift six days a week. I was dealing with a little bit of knee issues, so you'll see me uh, squatting a little lighter. Then I'll work up a little some something. Again, I, I actually don't know what footage Connor filmed, I don't but either. this I think it's a squat bench. I do basically full body, so squat bench deadlift, um, and then I also do overhead press on this day. And like I said, I train actually five to six times a week because I like to really spread out that volume. So I'm only doing about you know 13 to 16 working sets. It's not a lot yeah, per yeah. session. Yeah, not everyone can be heavy. You can't squat yeah. heavy every single day if your frequency is that high, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And I'm the exact opposite. My volume's low, my frequency's low, my intensity's low, my uh, sexual drive is low. My uh, Even while I'm here? No, it's really turned up recently hanging yeah. out so much with you and Alan Thrall. Uh, things are going wild. I think these are a mix of days. Um, yeah. As you guys know, my split's kind of pretty set in stone, but the exercises aren't. So I started back uh, low bar squatting again. I had a safety squat bar. Got a squat day that's uh, tied in with all my push, deadlift day tied in with all my pull. Super basic, super easy. Um, and actually my back's been a little angry lately. So I think two days that Omar were here, uh, I was lifting real light. Yeah. And, and I saw someone say like, Mike, it's so sad to see you, how strong you were. And you went from a 700 pound pull and now in the footage you're pulling 315. It, what you work on in the it, same with Omar right here, right? You were squatting 230 or whatever, it doesn't yeah. matter. The point is, you're a 500 pound squatter. You could do that again in a six week cycle or training. You got to say training block too. You can't even say cycle around you freaking <laughs> snowflakes because then we start getting daggers to us. Point is, is what we're training with or what you can do isn't yeah. always what you should do. So, right. although I could probably go to the gym and rip up probably five, uh, 600 pounds conventional if I had to every week. Uh, what would be the point? Right. Where am I getting the volume? Where, where, what's gonna last me a long time? Uh, what's gonna love me a long time? And similar to your squat, like again, you could squat probably over 400 multiple times, but if you're trying to get the volume in, you're trying to get the uh, hypertrophic stimulus that you want, 
you're gonna have to have some days that's a little bit lighter. Yeah, refining the skill. Like even as an example here, it's like this is the lighter day. So I'm doing I think 385 for five by five. Uh, two days later, 48 hours later, I ripped up five plates, 495 for right. four. You right. know what I mean? So it's like it depends upon what you show. And I think some people don't understand. Uh, when it comes to Instagram, it's typically highlight reels, so people hitting PRs, and right. they think that's how they have to train. And so there's different classifications of lifters. That was good right there. That's what, like 525? Yeah, maybe. Oh, this, yeah, this, this is, is my heavy day. Yeah. yeah, that's my heavy day. I think yeah. I did... Um, 525. Yeah, I did 505 and then 525. Yeah, like that's real good. Like, yeah, and they're both you clean. You can't, yeah, you think you can't pull 600 on that day? Like that's no belt. Right, know? yeah, or pull four, 495 every single day. But yeah. again, what's the point? What's the point for me is to build some muscle back, build some groove back. And like you said, yeah, the, the unrealistic uh, goals of, of even people on YouTube, you know, like... It causes them not to understand programming, yeah, honestly. Like, it does, it does. Right? And you're going to set yourself up for failure long term. Not that you can't lift heavy and lift yeah. heavy often and probably be fine, but there's no need to lift heavy every single day, year round, forever and ever. You know what I want to say? You know how I know Connor's a true homie? Connor's the guy that edits Mike's uh, videos of you. So here he is making Mike just look great because Mike is great doing 525 on the deadlift. He's like, I'm going to show Omar's lighter deadlift day. I'm not going to show him do the 495. So, Maybe it's coming later. Maybe. No, I, I, I just know Connor's not coming later. <laughs> I know it's not coming later. <laughs> Getting a bonus this Christmas. What do we got? Is this, so this might be 185. It depends. Yeah, you were uh, crushing overhead. Uh, I did 190 times three. That's one of the short-term goals. I want to overhead press uh, 230. So What's I, the best ever? 226. Yeah, yeah. So we'll do this. This is maybe, I don't know. Yeah, I think These you did. Are, you were crushing like 185 for reps. I can't do that no more. Yeah, it's between 180 to 190, the different sets. Yeah, so here's the another day. I think we have three days. This is another day. Thrown here. Because yeah. this is your strongman day. Yeah. Well, Mr. Alan Troll. Mm hmm. I didn't Alan want to hit Small him. now, he's actually called because he lost all that weight. I think he was in so Al oh. Alan Small. Oh, he didn't like that? No, no, I was saying that was his name instead of Thrall. Well, it's just. I did call him Small one day. I said, uh, I said, I think someone was trying to get me to do a strongman competition. I said, oh, is that. Uh, what Alan's gonna be doing? Um, I said I, I don't want to go head to head with him. He's small now or something. He's like, and that means I was fat before. I was like, well, kind of. Uh, we've all been large. There. I'm a little chunky right now, right. and yes, Alan, you were a little chunky in the past, but now you look absolutely stupendous. You're uh, apocalyptic resistant. Okay, if it happens, you'll survive longer than someone else. I want to give a shout out to our fake homie in the back, uh, Ryan, because he's not gonna be watching. Is that him right there? Uh, he, he is back there behind us. And Marcus, Filipino. No, Marcus is sighting. cool. So you do some front squats. How do you determine your exercise selection at this point now? So uh, I don't. Uh, so I'm trying to do anywhere from three to six week blocks of um, on my deadlift day. I'm going to do some kind of quad dominant movement, and on my squat day, it's going to be some kind of obviously just squat dominant movement. It will depend by my progression and depend yeah. on how I feel. Uh, I know my high end of my squats. Um, are limited by my mobility and basically my technique just because mm -hmm. I can't hold that rack well. Yeah. Uh, so I'll probably keep that in a little bit longer than perhaps I kept my safety squat bar uh, cycle in where the strength just kind of puttered out. I hit maybe 400 or something with that beltless. Um, so then that's why I switched that to low bar but haven't changed that one yet. And same with deadlifts. I'll probably get up into the 600s, then I'll switch. God, damn you're lean. He's just giving all sorts of teas right. He said, let and me that's show why, That's why I keep my hoodie on. <laughs> that's why I'm in the opposite room of him keeping my hoodie on. But then, yeah, and so then same with the deadlift. I probably have a higher upper end or more weeks that I could stretch out my, my gains from it. And then I'll switch that variation into some bands or maybe a block pull. But the front squat, uh, the, the only strength goal I have right now, like direct goal, is to squat 405 front mm -hmm. squat. Yeah. Uh, I think it's easily done. I just haven't done it. And so it's kind of silly of me not to just do it. Yeah. I, I do like how you're essentially also trying to build momentum here, you know, where yeah. you're getting into your groove, you're finding your rhythm and people don't understand that intent and rhythm are so important to develop that momentum. Yeah. 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 You have to set yourself up for success. And I, I think I'm lucky enough to have some really good mentors. Obviously my dad and my strength coach from high school, my basketball coach. Um, some people have to learn on their own or you learn from other lifters or lifting coaches, whatever. Um, but yeah, you, you, you learn the, the process of, of kind of like, it, it's the same idea as an RPE 8 or 9. Why not go to 10? Um, it's probably not because you're going to fry your CNS, uh, although it may cause a little more fatigue. It's more so just so you have room to grow within the following four weeks. If you're just hitting RPE 10s all the time, I'm just going to bench 315 for singles all the time. Never make progress, which uh, physically you may be able to make some progress that way, but there's uh, humans are quite complex. Uh, and so we have to worry about kind of our emotional side. And look yeah. at this big devil. This is the highlight reel right here. We got Filipino Thunder. We got 700 pounds of twisted steel. I think it's uh, about 650. 705 oh. is next. Marcus is an old training partner of mine, if you guys don't know, a really good friend of mine. Um, and he uh, started a, a physical labor job. So that, this dude's been really, really uh, tired. One, hasn't competed in a while. Just all of us, we've lifted for so long. And we have things to worry about. But he's... Uh, 
back in the gym a little bit, working a lot of construction, uh, and really focusing in on, on his squat. So he, he decided to call us all up, and that's why we went a little bit earlier to the gym yeah. uh, to get some side spotters. And, and it is something about community, and that's why it's always fun when Omar's here and we can train with Alan and everybody. But you don't always have that. Um, right. And me and Marcus had that for many years together, and we still do here and there. Uh, schedules, we just get busy and old. But he wanted to squash 705, and I think he smashed it, and I hope we have footage right here for that. Yeah, and uh, I think it speaks volumes, uh, the camaraderie, the fact that we're willing to leave the house at 9 a.m. to go there. 8.45, actually, is yeah. when we left. on right? the weekend. Yeah, on That's a weekend. sleeping day, Marcus. You will never catch me do that when it's on my own. It's called the noon wake up at True. the minimum, train at 3 p.m. Why do you think I don't get a tan? Because uh, you're only inside during yeah. the sun out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm probably asleep when yeah. the sun's out. Don't, don't blame, blame me. me. Don't yeah. blame me. More footage coming. We got a full day of eating coming soon. Yeah. Omar's strongman footage maybe coming soon on your channel. Woo! Yes. Maybe we'll go to Toronto this year. We'll see. I'm pretty lazy. Yeah. Maybe he'll come back down yeah. this year. He is also lazy. But we appreciate you. I'll right. be back. Okay. He'll oh, be back. I'll be back. I Mike. do want to go to Toronto. It's it way too sick. cold yeah. and I got too many projects here, but it'll probably happen. Appreciate you guys. Omar Esau. Silent Mike. Catch you in the next one.